If you've played chess for more than a couple of days, you need to know how to win the basic endgames. You start with the ladder checkmate, then the queen, then the rook, and then you give up and start flagging people instead. You might think this is an acceptable strategy for a while, until you end up like this. The hardest endgame in chess, the knight and the bishop, appearing in a staggering 0.002% of endgames. This is the single most essential technique to learn, besides the actual rules. And in this video, I'm going to make this GM killing endgame, an effortless process that allows you to flex mercilessly on anyone who refuses to resign. So let's begin. The basic idea. To win this endgame, you need to push their king to the edge of the board, and then push it to the same colored corner as your bishop. They will try to run towards the center, and when that fails, they will run to the other side of the board. It's that simple. So how do we win? Step 1. Build this formation. You can completely ignore them for the first few moves, because all you need to do is make this shape with your pieces. This creates a blockade that prevents their king from crossing, and allows you to push them to the edge. You can pretty much pre-move this, so if you're struggling already, it's time to put down the chess pieces, take a deep breath, and give up. However, if you are following, step two is to chase their king to the edge. Once you've built this wall, all you need to do is move your king towards theirs so they're cut off from escaping to the other side of the board. Basically, just move up and right whenever you can and take the opposition wherever it fits. Here is an example. Eventually, they will be forced to move to the edge of the board, and this takes us to step three. Reach this position. Once they're on the edge, they will try to hide their king on the opposite side. All you need to do is bring your knight in like this and reach this position. From here, you have forced mate in 17, and considering that you have difficulty counting to 17, it is important to pay attention, because this is the only difficult part. Step four, the W maneuver. To achieve the W, you must be the W. Once you have reached this position, you need to push the king to a8. You will do this by moving the knight, bishop, and king to systematically cut them off from relevant squares. They will try to prevent this either by always running to the right, which is the easy version, or escaping this way, which is slightly harder. Here the king has to come to e8. When he does, all you have to do is bring your knight back, and the w pattern begins. You will either take the opposition, check them with the knight, or prevent the escape with a bishop. Your goal is to progress this way. If the king moves to the right, check them with a the bishop. If you can take the opposition, then take the opposition. Otherwise, you just move the knight in a w, checking the king and shifting the pieces across until you end up here. For example, here, you move your knight back, beginning the w, their king retreats, and then you follow them with your king. The easy version is when they just run back, and you continue the w. King d8 is forced, and then you can take the opposition. They try to run back, and you keep pushing them with bishop g6. King d8, and now you continue the w. King c8 is forced, and here you just wait with the bishop. Then they run back, you check them again, take the opposition, and you've already reached the pre-checkmate position. Once you've made it here, you're going to win. But we'll get back to that. Now for the vanishingly small minority of you who have noticed that going this way is completely idiotic, let's look at the hard version. The hard version occurs when your opponent hasn't been huffing industrial solvents since birth, wherein they will try to escape back to the center like this. If they run to c7, bring your knight to d7. They continue running away, and all you have to do is play bishop d3. From here, you can keep pushing them back like this, and regain the opposition further along the board. Then just reposition your bishop, and continue the w formation until you reach the same checkmating position as before. And this brings us to the checkmate. Whether it's the easy way or the hard way, you can always bully them into this exact position. From here, move your knight back like this, and they're forced into the corner. I have no doubt that in this position your malformed instincts are telling you to check the king immediately, and then fumble the game into a 50 move draw. But try your best to resist that one, Einstein, because all you have to do here is burn a move with the bishop, forcing the king back, check them with the knight, and win the game like this. Always check them with the knight first, and enjoy watching your opponent have a mental breakdown after you are the first person in history to pull this off. Now, now, you might have difficulty remembering all of this, or imagining it in action, especially if you're one of my long-term subscribers, so allow me to demonstrate. Bye. 
And that is how you win the hardest endgame in chess. You are now guaranteed to win at least one in every 5,000 of your endgames, which, as far as I'm concerned, constitutes major progress. Subscribe to the channel to learn more about chess, like the video, comment on the video, and generally go through the motions of arbitrarily increasing engagement metrics for my benefit without ever being rewarded or recognized. Tune into the stream today at 10 a.m. UTC for the greatest night of your life. And keep your eyes peeled for more videos. I'll see you next time, which will probably be in like 10 minutes.